to show you how I uh, start my uh, computer. So here's my uh, boot menu. Uh, here is a, uh, I have two Puppy Linux uh, running. So the first one is uh, Bookworm, uh, and then second one is a Fossa Pup CE4. And this is what we'll go ahead and boot up. So I have automatic start of uh, several application in certain uh, desktop uh, workspace. So we'll just take a brief look and it's going to load up my save folder here, obviously. So this is going to look significantly different than uh, a fresh new install of uh, uh, FOSSA Pub CE4. Uh, so let me just let it go ahead and complete the uh, uh, boot up process. So here is uh, what I end up and when I turn on the computer is that I I start with the web browser uh, Firefox and I have several uh, tabs open on the top here so next is I go to my uh, email and then uh, other uh, book sites so let me just get back to YouTube here and then let me just show you uh, so this is workspace one you can see here and then there are several empty uh, workspaces but it uh, when I just, uh, with a keyboard, I can just go to the next workspace that's occupied and this represents a uh, three rocks file or uh, uh, directory. So it's like similar to triple pane, what I call triple pane. So you can easily uh, copy uh, from one uh, to another window and then and then uh, likewise, we'll just make sure that we move it back. So, and then uh, third is, uh, so next workspace, I can automatically just go to that workspace with keyboard shortcut. Then uh, I, uh, I constantly seems to uh, need a uh, Genie uh, editor to uh, edit uh, various files, configuration files. So right now I have it open in the, into the YouTube uh, text. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, today is October 11th, uh, 2023. So I find that uh, this is very helpful as an initial start, uh, start uh, of the space. So let me just show you my, uh, uh, my computer. So we'll just start with a NeoFetch and then make it big and then you see, I'm running Fossa Pub 64. This is uh, actually CE4, and I have a uh, small, tiny uh, PC. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Think Center uh, M700 uh, uh, Lenovo M700Q, uh, tiny, and it has a uh, i3 processor. And I, ha I have a 16 gig of uh, gig of RAM. So, so although it's a uh, moderately fast uh, computer, it's not. Now I have my uh, simple screen recorder uh, uh, going now. So uh, let me just show you uh, how I set it up. Uh, so this is uh, on a root level. Uh, this is the, with hidden files. So Control H will uh, hide all the hidden uh, the uh, hidden files. So. Uh, this is mainly done with uh, several scripts. So I have uh, elected to name the scripts start.sh and browser.sh and uh, rocks.sh and genie.sh. And this uh, has to uh, be in a root level my application and bin, uh, bin uh, folder. So so here is a browser sh for example and uh, right now I have uh, browser sh here loaded so we'll just go ahead and drag it over here and then you can see the browser uh, script um, is contains uh, these uh, particular uh, lettering so you can just ignore the uh, what uh, this uh, what whatever 
you call this uh, symbol here you, that just gets ignored uh, but all these uh, scripts uh, has to be uh, uh, executable and uh, I'll go ahead and try to uh, give you a hint uh, as to how to do that on a uh, uh, further later but uh, basically I have a browser sh here and then rocks sh here and then genie sh that starts these three uh, scripts so we'll just go back to the summary here so these are scripts uh, so start sh script also has a, uh, a link so here is a so let me just go ahead and show you another uh, so if I just go to the uh, root level and start up folder there is a, a link to start.sh which is here so all simply what I've done is to go ahead and uh, to automatically start this uh, script let me just uh, delete this first is that simply drag this into my startup folder so I just drag it with a left click and then I'll just uh, link it absolute so that's how in that way this script gets automatically started on reboot or uh, when you power on so and then it goes through starting uh, starting a uh, rocks in the particular uh, in this case on uh, workspace 2 and then genie and uh, in the workspace 5 and then browser in workspace 1 and then you need a uh, little slight pause uh, depending on how fast your machine is to go ahead and uh, properly uh, place these uh, script uh, work this space so it uh, it puts the proper uh, application in proper window so I hope uh, I explained that uh, uh, now we're gonna get a, a closer look at the browser.sh um, so it uses uh, all the scripts it uses WM uh, CT uh, control so a uh, window manager control WMCTRL control so this command the first line puts puts the whatever is going to follow into a workspace uh, one but uh, it starts function number starts uh, with zero but uh, actually it puts it in into this here one so for uh, if you uh, for example if you want to start uh, 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 Firefox in uh, uh, window three every time you boot what you have to do is just change that to 2 and it'll start on the uh, window 3 so let me just uh, revert back and then we'll just go ahead and put in 0 here and then uh, you, you need to clear uh, uh, tell the uh, script what program and uh, what where you to place it so uh, it uses uh, x uh, dash xa this has a uh, great advantage in that you it does not allow start starting or start or uh, double uh, browser for example if there is a browser already running for example uh, uh, Firefox it will not start another Firefox so this has to do with a extension here and to generally speaking whatever the application we want to start th this actually is uh, usually the name the first letter uh, if you just change the capital it seems to work most of the time but if if it does not what you really need is to use this command here xprop grep so I'll just grab this here and then we'll just put it in the memory and then what we can do is I'll just demonstrate it so I have a uh, so to find that navigator uh, uh, name what you have to do is go ahead and start the uh, 
start the uh, terminal and then put that command in xprop and then watch the cursor it's going to change now uh, and i enter it changes and then you have to go to the program and then click it then it'll give you this uh, name here but again generally speaking if you just change this uh, firefox uh to uh capta it works but it not in this uh, particular case with a Firefox ESR. So that you have to uh, just uh, put it in a, a navigator right here. So, and then you save it and then reboot. And then uh, the, you will, if you uh, link it to a startup folder, it'll start the uh, uh, fi uh, Firefox. So similarly, the rocks uh, will uh, start th three folders, rocks, downloads, and in my case, uh, external drive. So that's what this represents here. This is the external drive, and this is the uh, root folder, and this is downloads folder that I've, uh, I, I prefer to have all that set up. Now I've, uh, I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, make those uh, scripts. So what I've done is uh, under my application and bin, I've uh, erased uh, rocks, genie, and browser dot s all those sh and startup uh, uh, start dot sh uh, from here. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just back out. So a control H. So this is where we are, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, create those, uh, create the uh, 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 files, and we will make that uh, uh, we'll make them uh, uh, executable, and then open up the genie with those. Uh, uh, scripts uh, ready to be uh, copied to. So all, all, what we'll do is we'll just copy all this here from the terminal and then open up a uh, uh, terminal and then copy it in and then we'll go ahead and uh, end a return here and now it's opened up uh, this uh, uh, scripts which are uh, here now and they've so here is the um, here's a start sh and there uh, a genie sh and the browser sh and rocks sh so they're all executable now so all you have to do is just copy from here uh, so start that sh We'll go ahead and copy that here, right here, and we'll make a copy and then put it on the start.sh. Okay, and then next is the browser.sh. Go ahead and do that. And make sure that uh, you do copy this uh, first line. And then we'll go to rocks.sh. Oops, I haven't uh, I haven't copied it here, but uh, you get the idea. So you just follow this, uh, and then I'll go ahead and put a detailed notes uh, in the under the description, so you can go ahead and follow. So once you get these all done, what you need to do is. Uh, Go ahead and save, obviously, and then you also need to uh, have the link of the start.sh from the uh, bin folder to a to the uh, uh, start startup uh, folder right here. So we'll have to open this up, and then we're going to have to drag the start.sh from here to here, and then let go uh make sure it's a link absolute so we'll go ahead and take a look so we made the link here 
So now when you reboot, you should open up uh, the folders. Uh, and again, you may have to adjust the timing of the uh, these here to get it properly uh, open in sequence uh, in a proper space. But I think that it's uh, somewhat of a trial and error. So, so I hope this is helpful. If there are any further questions or suggestions for video or further questions uh, regarding this, uh, uh, leave me a, leave me a under, uh, under comment and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks.